Well, today you're learning lesson six, one dash six in the textbook, and the title is called Absolute Value Equations. Since I'm not in the classroom today, you'll be learning this lesson um, remotely on this in this video. The objective says we'll be able to solve linear equations involving absolute value. And as you're watching this video, I would like you to take out your notebook and then start copying whatever that I'm writing in this video. And if this is going fast for you, always pause the video, finish copying, and then after that, play the video, video again. And of course, if there's anything that you don't understand in the video, write that down so that way when I come back, you'll be able to ask those questions, okay? Or we watch it during the, in the meantime. Okay. Let's talk about, let's take you back to middle school when it comes to absolute value. Well, if I were to ask you, what's the absolute value of seven? That means, what is the distance on the number line with the number seven away from zero? Let me draw out the number line. Right. So, let's say there's a number line with a zero in the middle. Well, I want you to find, well, how many units away is seven away from zero? then that's the absolute value. Well, the distance between seven and zero, it's seven units. So therefore, the absolute value of seven is seven. Likewise, if I were to ask you, what's the absolute value of negative seven? That means if I were to put negative seven on the number line, what is the distance between negative seven and zero on the number line? Well, the distance is also positive seven. So therefore, the absolute value of negative seven, it's also seven, okay? So we have two numbers on the number line that is seven units away from the number zero. And those two numbers are seven and negative seven. Likewise, if I were to ask you, hey, what is the absolute value of negative five and absolute value of five? Well, you're going to answer both as five because Negative 5 and 5 are 5 units away from 0 on the number line. And that's the definition of absolute value. Okay? Now, let's work backwards. If I were to ask you, hey, what is that number on the number line that I want you to guess so that the distance is 12 units away? In other words, what are the two numbers that is 12 units away from the number 0 on the number line? Well, not only you have one number, you have two numbers in this case. Well, the question mark could be positive 12 or negative 12. So you have two numbers, okay? So looks like every time, if I were to ask you what is the absolute value, um, if I were to ask you what is the missing number inside the absolute value, you're going to come up with two numbers. Let's actually change the question mark to a letter. If I were to ask you, well, what is the number x, so that when you take the absolute value, you, it's 3. In other words, I want you to find two numbers that is 3 units away from the number line. Well, now again, not only are you going to have one number, you're going to have two numbers. The two numbers are x equals 3, because 3 is 3 units away from the number line. At the same time, x could also be negative 3 because negative 3 is also 3 units away from the number line. So you have two answers. And this is the trick that we're going to use when it comes to solving absolute value equations. We're going to split the equations, uh, the original absolute value, in, uh, absolute value equation, into two linear equations. That's the trick. So let's take a look at the first example. Well, in example one, we have this absolute value equation. The equation, it says absolute value of y plus four close absolute value is equal to three. I want you to find two numbers so that when you add four to those two numbers, and when you take the absolute value, which is the distance, the distance away from zero is three. Well, to do that, we're going to split this just like what we did on the previous page. We're going to split this into two equations. First, the first equation is just exactly the same, y plus 4 equals 3. And then the other equation is be y plus 4 is equal to negative 3. Okay, so I want you to be careful. One of them is equal to 3, and then the other is equal to negative 3. So you got two equations to solve, okay? So for each of the equations, you would subtract 4 on both sides. 
Okay, so minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, and minus 4. So one of the number is going to be y is equal to negative 1. That's one of your answer. And then the other answer is going to be y is equal to negative 7. This is a negative sign, by the way. So therefore, these two numbers, when you add 4 to it, right, and if I were to ask you to find a distance um, away from 0, both of them are 3 units away from the number line. Okay? Or if I were to ask you to plug it in, negative 1 plus 4 is 3, absolute value of 3 is 3. At the same time, negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3, absolute value of negative 3 is also 3. So you're going to have two answers in most, if not all, of the absolute value equations. In example 2, we have a two-step equation. Here we have absolute value of 2y plus 4. Close absolute value is equal to 15. Well, we're going to do the same thing, where we're going to split it into two equations. One of them, you write exactly the same without the absolute value of sine, and then the other one, you write the left side exactly the same, but then the number on the right is negative 15. And then from there, you solve each equation. First, you subtract 4 on both equations. The 4s cancel. So you're left with 2y is equal to 11 for the first equation. And then 2y is equal to negative 19 on the second equation. And then at the end, you divide both sides by 2 because the opposite of multiplication is division. So once you divide 2 on both sides, you notice that 2 cannot go into 11 and also 2 cannot go into negative 19. Sometimes you will have a fraction. And I remember I asked you to leave your answer as an improper reduced fraction. So you're going to have y is equal to 11 halves. That's one of your answers. And then the other answer is y is equal to negative 19 halves. And that's your second answer. Here we have the last example of multi-step absolute value equations. Here we have absolute value of x divided by 4 plus 3, close absolute value, minus 5 is equal to 12. You notice that in this equation is a bit longer, and not only that, outside the absolute value, you have a number that's add or subtract after the absolute value sign. Well, first, if you see something like this, do not, and I repeat, do not split it. You can only split the equation when the absolute value is the only thing on one side of the equation. In other words, I first do not need the minus 5. If I have a minus 5 there, I cannot split it until I get rid of this minus 5. So to get rid of that minus 5, first, I need to add 5 on both sides before I split. So the next step is the 5's and negative 5's cancel. You left an absolute value of x minus 4, uh, x divided by 4, plus 3, close absolute value is equal to 17. You see that now the absolute value is the only thing on the left side of the equation. Once you have that situation now, you could start splitting. Okay. So first, you're going to draw two arrows. You're going to write one of the equations exactly the same, x divided by 4 plus 3 is equal to 17. And then the other equation is x divided by 4 plus 3 is equal to negative 17. Okay. And then you're going to solve this equation. First, you're going to subtract 3 on both sides of the equation for each equation. So the positive 3 and negative 3 cancel. So you have x divided by 4 is equal to 14 for the first equation. And then the second equation is x divided by 4 is equal to negative 20. Now remember, when you have divided by 4, the opposite of divided by 4 is multiplied by 4. So you would multiply by 4 on both sides of the equations, like this. Okay. So the 4 and negative 4, they cancel each other. Right. Sorry, let's repeat that. So the multiply by 4 and divide by 4, they cancel each other. So you're going to have x is equal to 56 for the first equation, and then x is equal to negative 80 for the second equation. These two are your answers to the absolute value equation. If you were to plug it back in and then divide by 4 plus 3, take the absolute value and then minus 5, you will get 12. So today you're going to practice to solve 
absolute value equations. And on your Delta Map homework, it is available on Delta Map. It's titled Lesson 6 1 6 Absolute Value Equations, and you have to show work. And you'll be turning this homework when I return. Thank you.